Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It is the first of the month, which means it is time for the next installment of our EOS vs ETH dApps, where we take a look at the dApp stats and compare them to the first of the month last month and the month before. I will have links below to the tribe write-ups for both October and September. On these posts, you can find screenshots of the EOS dApps and eat dApps on the first of the month in October as well as September and the corresponding video that was recorded on that day comparing the dApps. These are the screenshots I'll be using as comparison so again links below if you want to check out the comparison and see the dApps on October 1st and September 1st. So now let's see what's going on on November 1st starting off with EOS dApps on dApp radar. So first, we're going to get a total count of the dApps listed on DAP Radar. September 1st, we had 24 dApps. October 1st, we had 75 dApps. And today, November 1st, we have 125 dApps. So dApps are increasing as far as being listed on DAP Radar. We're seeing an increase in EOS dApps listed of about 50 a month, going from 24 on September 1st to 75 on October 1st, and now 125 on November 1st. So now if we take a look at the first category, users over 24 hours. On September 1st, we had two dApps with 1,024 hour users. On October 1st, we had three dApps with over 1,000 users over 24 hours and today on November 1st we have 10. 10 dApps with over 1,000 users over the last 24 hours on EOS. So we've seen a big jump, a big increase compared to last month. Whereas September to October we saw going from 2 to 3 dApps, a 1 dApp increase in 1,000 users over the last 24 hours. From October 1st to November 1st, we are seeing a 7 dApp increase going from 3 dApps to 10 dApps with over 1,000 users over the last 24 hours. So this last month has really seen a big explosion in the amount of users using EOS dApps. And if we just do a quick comparison to Ethereum, here is Ethereum and you see two two dApps right now on november 1st with over a thousand 24 hour users five times the amount of eos dApps with that number with up to 10 dApps so big increase there if we take a look at 24 hour volumes we're seeing a big chunk of dApps with over a hundred thousand eos 24 hour volumes with two over a million bet dice at over 3 million EOS, new decks over a million EOS, 400,000, over 400,000 from EOS Bet and EOS Lucky Me, 270,000 from Chintai, Blackjack EOS Poker at over 200,000, EOS Play over 200,000, Bet24 over 200,000, Farm EOS and Endless Dice each over 100,000 bringing the total of over 100,000 EOS on November 1st to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 dApps again. And a big surge with 3 million EOS over the last 24 hours from Bet Dice. Big numbers there. So now getting into transactions over the last 24 hours, this is where we will compare side by side to the last month. First off, just for the numbers, for dApps over 10,000 24 hour transactions on September 1st we saw five EOS dApps over 10,000 24 hour transactions on October 1st we saw seven dApps with over 10,000 24 hour transactions and today on November 1st we are seeing 18 dApps with over 10,000 24 hour transactions so that brings us all the way down to here it actually looks like it increased one. Let me count these out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So plus one. We're at 19 dApps now. And for a quick comparison to ETH, ETH has, well, <laughs> This is one this one's easy to count. One dap over 10,000 24-hour transactions. One. 
where EOS we're seeing 19 dApps today over 10,000 24 hour transactions big difference there now let, let's compare what we're seeing if, as far as 24 hour transactions to last month to get a better idea of the growth here so here are the EOS dApps on October 1st exactly one month ago sorted by 24 hour transaction volumes and here we have the EOS dApps today November 1st sorted by 24 hour transaction volume and you can see one month ago we had two dApps over the 100,000 24 hour transaction number and I had for October 1st, seven dApps over 10,000 transactions, 24 hour transactions written down, but one, two, three, four, five, six. This is only showing six. So between six and seven on October 1st for over 10,000. Uh, but the main thing here, the transactions over 100,000, where we saw two on October 1st, and today on November 1st, we are seeing one, two, three, four, four over 100,000 24 hour transactions. And if we look at the ones over, let's just say over 30,000, we saw one, two, three over 30,000 on October 1st. We're seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven dApps over 30,000 24 hour transactions today on November 1st. So as you can see, we've seen big growth in the amount of transactions as well as users using EOS here over the last month. A lot bigger jump we, than we saw from September 1st to October 1st. So we'll have to see in the coming month if this trend continues of EOS really starting to rev up and take off. Because the growth has really been exponentially larger than what we saw from September to October. So now let's do a quick comparison of the Ethereum dApps today versus what we saw on October 1st, sorted by 24-hour transactions here. This is November 1st, live today. This is the Ethereum dApps sorted by 24-hour transaction volumes one month ago on October 1st. And we're seeing a slight uptick compared to what we saw September to October the September to October Ethereum really got whacked but as far as October to November in October IDEX was seeing on October 1st 10 10 and a half thousand 24 hour transactions it's ticked back up some here to 13,000 transactions dice to win was in the number two spot and is still in the number two spot it was seeing 5,424 hour transactions on October 1st today November 1st ticked up a little again 7,900 almost 8,000 transactions there and finally crypto kitties in the three spot it is still in the three spot here in terms of 24 hour transactions this one actually has seen a slight downtick so we saw almost 5,000 24 hour transactions on October 1st today we are seeing just about 4,000 transactions on November 1st here. So the top three in terms of transactions on Ethereum are the same in the same order, but we're seeing IDEX and dice to win bounce back a little bit in terms of 24 hour transaction numbers with CryptoKitties still starting to drop off a little bit. And if we look at their 24 hour user base really quickly, IDEX 1590, verse 1356 so we're seeing a couple hundred more come into idex today on november 1st then on october 1st last month dice to win saw 76 dice to win today is seen 115 so again a couple more people coming in there crypto kitties with 370 crypto kitties dropped off about 12 here to 358 as far as the first of the month comparison goes so ethereum not as bad as it was last month so guys, if you do enjoy these EOS vs. ETH monthly comparisons, please drop a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell if you want to be notified. But other than that, that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.